Hi, uh, my name is Rashawn Dix. Um, I grew up in Long Island with my grandmother. She raised me ever since I was seven years old. Before I came out to my grandmother, she had me very actively in the church. You know, I was in Bible study, um, Sunday school, the mass choir, the junior choir, the usher board, the, um, the missionary, the junior missionary. I was in everything, you know, there is to think of. I mean, I love my grandmother dearly because she raised me ever since I was seven years old. I'm telling you, it's just something about a grandmother's love that just really does something to me. I mean, she loved me unconditionally. She brought me close. She did everything that my mother was supposed to do, but my mother never did. I mean, I still love my grandmother to this day. And as soon as I told her that I was a gay black man, she disowned me. You know, she started calling people, praying, you know, laying hands on me and saying, you know, I rebuke this demon and it's just a phase that you're going through. I feel like if you love your child and embrace your child and show your child that you still love them no matter what they are, I feel like the world would be a better place because everybody needs something. A parent or a family member would say, I love you, you know, regardless. You know, because I feel like, you know, we had more of that in the world. A lot of, I feel like a lot of GLBT youth wouldn't be homeless because, you know, they, some parents, you know, they have like their religious background where they're like, oh, what would Jesus do? And you know, and they just feel like, you know, disowned and they feel like, you know, you're just like neglecting them.